right now the objective in the game is to destroy these stone walls. And as I'm designing levels, I found it to be kind of limiting. One, there's only so many ways you can launch a projectile, and it kind of gets old after a while. And two, you have to be confined to this build area, or else you could just drop your materials on the structures like that. So what I'm going to do is have one of these foot soldier guys in the scene somewhere, and your goal is to build something to transport him to an end destination. I think this will make for more interesting and puzzly levels, and there can of course still be destruction, but it doesn't have to be the focus. First I'm going to make a chair for our protagonist that you can connect wood beams to and make stuff like vehicles. I added in the chair and set it up so that connections form at the legs so that you can build off of it like that. Now I need to make some sort of finish line. So I made this little flag to mark the destination and when you cross it you should pass the level. Uh, but that doesn't work yet, so that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to make a new script. Goal tracker. So if the position of the ragdoll is within a certain distance of the position of the goal, then we'll show the level complete window. Yay! Before I do anything else, I'm going to do some refactoring. My goal is to make it a little bit easier for me to add new items to the game. Now the code is a little bit cleaner, and everything seems to still be working. So now I want to add some more interesting terrain pieces, so that levels can have more than just this flat ground. Okay, so now terrain pieces can be spawned in for each level. All I did was create a prefab for a rectangular piece of terrain. Later I might add in things like circles and hills and stuff like that. Each level is defined in a JSON file. So now you can have the position, rotation, and size of different terrain pieces. Finally, I created a script that instantiates the prefab given the data, and one that attaches to the prefab itself that positions and scales it appropriately. I kind of made this level by accident, so I'll see if I can figure it out. Alright, how are we going to get him to victory here? Yeah, he needs a vehicle. Let's just uh, roll a big ball at him and see if there we go. I hope that didn't really work. Okay, let's sort of anchor it down here. There we go. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty fun. Here's another level. The flag is up here, and there's a stone ball that you can't move. And in the inventory, you're given two 4-meter beams and four 
two meter beams. So here's what you would have to do to get this stone ball down here and use it to launch our guy up top. And there we go.